In today's video, we're gonna show you how we help Julian stop duffing his irons and create that ball turf contact with one simple setup change. Yes, yeah, sometimes you just have to keep it simple. Keep watching. Welcome to me and my golf. Now, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to improve your game. Yes, definitely. If you want to improve your irons, make sure you check out our Ultimate Irons coaching plan. You can start it for free by downloading the Me and My Golf app. Just check the link in the description. So, we have Julian Capata, who has been a member Great to see you, Julian. of the membership program for two years. And we kind of feel like we know him. A big hug. It wasn't a handshake, it was a big hug when we first saw you. So um, he's fantastic in our Facebook group as well. So thank you for that. So we're actually gonna hit some shots on this white line as well, so we can use that for feedback. But let's just hit a few shots. Let's uh, get a few for the viewers to see. It's a good move, it's pretty powerful. It is for three years. Three years. Three years, it's not a long time. Started and he's beauty. doing exactly what I didn't want him to do, which is <laughs> ripped it on the first one. And that, I mean, if you come and have a look at this as well, if you, if you see this here, this is why this line training is so good. Because you can put a golf ball on there and you can get instant feedback. And you can see when you hit that one there, you literally just took the ball and the line out together. That was beautiful. Um, just do that every time, that's fine. Just do that every time and then the video's over without even saying anything. Well, if I don't do that every time, I can blame you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, exactly. And don't forget, he's been a member for two years as well. So that's probably why he's uh, hitting good shots already. <laughs> Okay, there he is, that's the one. So again, if we have a look at this one, we'll get you in here again and have a look at this. And this is the difference, it's amazing, isn't it? So you've gone from this one, which was so good, and then obviously that's the one that's let you down. Yeah. Okay. So let's just show you the video on what we see. What I'm looking at, first of all, in the setup here is, we can see that the head is actually quite upright. So you're almost peering down at the golf ball. We can see that the, the pelvis is a little bit tucked under as well. I'll explain that a little bit more in a moment. But if we just look at where your head is there, look what happens to it as you swing back. It drops considerably and it almost drops so you can actually see what's going on. If we imagine that we stood up really tall like this and we turn back, the shoulder would get in the way, you can't see the ball. So you almost have to drop your head down like that just to see it. So imagine this, if we're here like so, if I swing back, well now the shoulder's in the way so I can't see the ball so I'm going to do that. But as soon as we put in a lot of head drop, if we don't do something on the way down to then go back up, it's going to be inconsistent with the contact and it makes sense that you can probably hit the ground before the ball. Right. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah? yeah. So what we're going to do is see if we can actually create that room for you to be able to see the golf ball straight away. So we're going to maybe do a posture change in that we may move you a little bit further back. We may tip you forward a little bit more from your hips, just so you're looking down at the golf ball a little bit more. And then we'll see whether you can pivot and keep the head a little bit more constant, if that makes sense. That a makes lot sense? of this, a lot of this stems as well, maybe you guys can relate to this at home. We get told that we need to have a straight spine. So when people have a straight spine, they tend to want to keep everything in line, even the head. The problem is here is that when I'm like this, I can't really see, I'm looking down through my nose. And what we're going to say with, with Julian is, we're just going to say, allowing his neck almost to relax and see his eyes go this way. Because now he can rotate, he hasn't going to hasn't got a search for anything. The compensation, I suppose. They can relax, relax it, relax it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> this is just allowing his neck muscles to soften up now. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Cranking the head <laughs> down. I think we need to massage the okay, neck muscles. Yeah, Feel little, the difference I, I, there. It's been a stressful year. <laughs> yeah, it has been a stressful year. Okay, so that's a bit strange, a bit different. Okay, let's just have some swings now. And we'll just use the white line as a little bit of a focal point for where you strike in the ground. So let's have a go from there. Have some swings. Okay, yeah, that was beautiful, that was very it? nice. Okay, so start yourself again on this one. So again, the key feeling will be that you'll actually tip forward from your hips more and let your head relax. 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 Soften, soften, soften. I almost want you to look, that's it. Allow your eyes to look down at the ball there, that's it. Well, just quickly, stand up for me. What glasses do you wear? Um, these are bifocals. Okay. So that's part of it. Slight issue. And yeah. uh, both my uncle and my coach, Yes. chin up. Okay. okay, that's the that will be part of it. And that's, okay. yeah, that's, that's, where that's been like well. drilled okay, into okay. my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can up. see that. We'll, 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 <laughs> exactly. promote, we'll promote you to go, yeah. to go chin down. up to yeah. chin down. Not, you know, not, yeah, not head up, but chin up. Yeah, so yeah of course. It's of course. trying to find that. So, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, and yeah. I see on the video the body's following the head. Yeah. yeah. And, and, look, and ultimately, we just got to see, we don't know whether this is going to work yet. We're going to find out in a moment, but this is just the most logical place for us to start. That's what we have to do as a coach. Right. So let's go again and we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on these glasses as well because 
that does make things a little a little harder. Okay. <laughs> we we're almost saying get that chin down now, which is the opposite <laughs> to what you've been working. What I've been working on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Also been moving cl uh, closer and closer to the ball over the summer. Oh really? Yeah. There okay. You go. Okay. Okay. Good. And again, so let's have a few more swings. Again, you just getting more comfortable to this. Yeah. Good. Do that again. Beautiful. Love yeah, that. Brilliant. Nice that's, brush that's so past good. the line. Nice. Okay, let's have a look at this. So what I'm gonna show you now is just the amount that the head actually drops. So, oh, by the way, sorry. I think that looks fantastic. Yeah, that's it looks cleaner. strong, though you're ready to rotate, as you say, cleaner. Head, let's watch that head. So it's obviously, it's obviously going to drop a little bit because that's the pattern you've been used to. But I would say, without measuring it totally, is you've probably halved it. You've mm -hmm. probably halved the amount that it's dropped. Does it make sense? This is, a, yeah. this is a really important part again because when we see moves in the golf swing, we often see compensation for things. For Julian, the compensation, what's causing him to move down is his address position. He's too tall, he's been having his chin up, but it's hard to hit, see the golf ball from there. So he swings back, compensates, whereas if we can start him more bent forward with the eyes looking down, he can now rotate and maintain these angles so much more consistent. Uh, be interested to see, hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments have you been told to keep your chin up? Are you a little too straight with the spine? It's okay to have this sort of neck relaxed looking down at the golf ball, really important. So, whenever we do a change like this, I wanna make it a little bit easy for you. So I'm gonna tee it up, but I'm gonna tee it very low. So it's only just in the air, but I'm using this line underneath as the feedback again. Good tip for you guys at home as well, what Pierce is doing now. Whenever we're focusing on making a change, just by teeing it up allows you to focus on the change without putting too much attention on the ball. So it's a great thing for you to practice when you're on the range. I don't want to mess around too much with you when you're there, but you get yourself set. I go like a little bit like this, a little bit like this. Okay. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you would have done it. You'd have done it. That looks good. Okay, good. Yeah, a little nice. bit thin to start with. That's fine. It makes sense though. If the head was dropping a lot before, if it's not dropping as much now, it makes sense that you will probably thin it a little bit to start with. Yeah. Yeah. That's much better than the heavy one. Up. Absolutely. Much better than the heavy. It one. makes the green, doesn't it, Andy? Yeah. Very nice. So Beautiful good. little draw though, isn't it? The shape of the golf swing is, is fantastic. Yeah. It's the contact. If we can get the consistency of that strike there. Oh, I'll tell you what, seriously, look at this. <laughs> so, set up, getting really super strong. And you can still see, mm -hmm. you know, well, I'm, I'm happy with the head there. I'm happy with the head there. I mean, that's dropping definitely half as much without comparing it to the one there. Club on the way down is beautifully on plane. It was a little bit above the plane before. Keep going. Oh, nice. Maybe baby. a little bit before. Not as heavy though, not as deep. Look at the difference in the depth. There you go. The depth of this one compared to the depth of that one. Let's have a look. <laughs> Absolutely right. So this was, these are the good ones, obviously. That was the heavy shot before. That was the heavy shot now. And you can see that's an inch before. And if that's what the heavy shot is now, we're winning. We're winning. Well, and that was the best ball flight of the yeah. three that I've done yeah. too. You're right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when you hit the ground just a little bit before that line, it still can work out really yeah. well. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Maybe dropped a little bit more of the head did on, did on that one. I mean, ideally with this, I don't really, and me and Andrew are exactly the same with this, we don't really want to start getting into your golf swing too much because the move is good. You just need to give it a bit of room to be able to do its thing. Sometimes Thank we you. make it so <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good to hear. It's really good. Sometimes we make it so much more complicated than it needs to be. We're working on wrist angles and shaft, which is sometimes important, but sometimes it's just checking the setup and the posture and making sure that the grip is okay because that tends to shape everything else. So make sure you check that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. That Again, felt good though. You look at the floor there, Julian. Get look over here, Sean. Look at that. Shallow divot. What a divot that is. The line is still there, and that was off the ground. There's no T there, and the line is still there. Okay, we spent some time with uh, Sergio Garcia recently, and the divots looked exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that. Oh dear. <laughs> Not my favorite yeah. golfer, but I'll take that any day of the week. <laughs> if you can hit it like Sergio, I'll tell you what, you're yeah. gonna be a happy man. Jeez. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's Absolutely done it again. ripped again. He's done it again. That was, Get there. that was the best one there, Get there. for me. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Julian. Thank you. Incredible. It just shows how simple it can be when you work at your posture. And if you guys want to improve your yeah. ball striking,
just like Julian, make sure you download the Me and My Golf app and start the Ultimate Irons coaching plan. It is going to help. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. See you later. See you later, Connor.